Christ is risen. Um, you know, one of the recurrent themes that I, I keep noticing and I keep speaking about in the prison and I keep kind of in the forefront of my brain lately is this narcissism of liturgical language. See, the words that we use matter. And over the past hundred years or so, almost all Christian sects have unfortunately made moves away from traditional, formal, dignified language, the thy thou, to very vernacular, very casual, you, your, mm. I mean, some Bibles even have contractions in them. Now, a discussion of all of that is not going to fit on a 10-minute YouTube video, but I just want to give you an example. Because once you start noticing that this happens, you're going to start to see it everywhere, okay? Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 14, I believe. Um, actually, you know what? You don't even need the verse. Ecclesiastes, the whole book, okay? What's the one word in Ecclesiastes that's all shot through it? It's vanity, right? Vanity, vanity, all is vanity. So every chapter is a new treatise on vanity and chasing after wind. So vanity is a self-absorption, right? It is a turning inward to secular human society. It is ultimate selfishness. It is puffing ourselves up and not paying attention to what is really going on in life. Vanity. So it doesn't, it can refer to vanity of thinking that you're pretty or handsome or hot, but spiritual vanity is a much more serious problem. Excuse me. So, that's not a very popular word in modern America, is it? Because we like to believe that God wants us to be the star of the show in some perverse way. We love to be the center of attention, the center of the center of focus. We like being a first priority, and then we kind of put God in wherever he'll fit. So this word vanity is problematic for a lot of people. And so certain Bible translations have actually stopped using the word. And they have had to replace it with something that is similar but totally not. Okay, going back to my favorite Bible, the Oxford Annotated Study Bible, which, by the way, is not a new translation. I should stop writing on Oxford. Uh, the, it's the NRSV, I believe. The word vanity in Ecclesiastes is rendered futility. Futility. They don't mean the same thing. Do they? See, futility is I'm not going to be able to do whatever it is I want to do or I'm not going to accomplish my task because I can't for whatever reason. But it's still okay for me to be self-centered and to, and to, to try. Oh, it, it's futile, but I'm going to keep, you know, I'm going to obsess about, I'm going to obsess about myself and then because I can't do what I want to do, I'm going to obsess about that. Instead, it's a very selfish thing. Futility of futilities. Right? There is nothing inherent in the word futility that condemns egoism. And condemns selfishness and spiritual pride and spiritual um, self-absorption. There's nothing inherent in the word futility that condemns that. Whereas vanity, that is specifically what it condemns. Right? Vanity is, it's not that you're not going to be able to do whatever it is you want to do because you can't or because you don't have the money or, you, or you're not smart enough. It's No, no, no. It's because you're going the wrong way. And ultimately you're hurting yourself. You're hurting your soul. You're sending yourself straight to hell with this vanity. Because when you are turned in on yourself, by definition, you cannot pray. 
because you're turning on your own issues rather than lifting your, your hands in supplication to God. So do you see what's going on here? This is very insidious, isn't it? These word substitutions that don't actually mean the same thing. And it is this kind of very subtle, perhaps difficult to notice at first, little, you know, wearing away at the foundation of the Christian worldview, which is that you and I are not the center of the universe. You and I are not the most important people on planet Earth. And so it doesn't matter if something is futile or not. It doesn't matter if I'm going to get what I want, if I'm going to have my earthly emotions satisfied, because the vanity of it is what makes it wrong. It doesn't matter if I could do it physically or financially or emotionally. What matters is it's vain, it's worthless, it's crap. Quelle différence, eh? Start looking for those things. I love collecting Bibles. I have almost every English language Bible available in terms of the translations. And it's fascinating to look at these passages like this. And then you can say, you know what? These companies that publish these Bibles and these teams of scholars who do the translations, they're not stupid people. They're not uneducated people. So why? Why not just use vanity? Well, because it's not convenient to modern Americans. It's not happy. It doesn't affirm you. It doesn't prevent you from feeling marginalized. It doesn't remind you that you bear in your body the repercussions of original sin, or ancestral sin, as we say in the Orthodox Church. To wit, sin looks mighty attractive to all of us, doesn't it? We have a tendency now. And we have a lot of time that we spend massaging words so that they can appear to be righteous words, but they're actually not. Because in secret, we have chosen those words, not because they accurately convey the voice of the Lord our God, but because they make us feel like we're okay. They make us feel as if we don't have to change. And that's crap, ladies and gentlemen. Crap. If you and I did not need to change, that means... Christ didn't need to be crucified. Do not even think that. Just shut it out of your mind. If you go to a church or you read theological works and you constantly feel affirmed in your worldly behavior choices, you need to put on your tennis shoes and run away. Because true scandalous, radical, countercultural Christianity is uncomfortable in many ways. Because we must do psychological business with the fact that our instincts and our emotions and our tendencies are wrong. They are vanity. Not futility. Vanity, okay? Vanity of vanities always matters. Even crappy Bible translations. I guess that's it for now.